So in this video I'd like to demonstrate the difference between removing and um, putting back an external battery and a power tube. On the right side I have the Trek Powerfly fully suspended, the 7 Plus, with a 500 watt hour external battery. And on the left I have the latest uh, uh, Cube Stereo Hybrid 140 with a 625 watt hour internal battery. So I have the keys here. Let's see if I can demonstrate with my left hand. The external battery is rather easy to remove. It has a handle. You pop it out. And if you want to put it back in, just have to make sure that you lined it with the cradle and then you click it in. Let's see. Oop. There it clicks. Okay. With the power tube, it's not so easy. So, first of all, you must remove the cover. Okay, press the button. And this is the easy part, so it comes out. Here it is. Then, I'm going to switch hands. You have to insert the key, turn it, and this will pop out the battery ever so slightly as you can see yeah then you press the latch and it falls out completely and here's is what it looks like inside the power what? <laughs> okay now the tricky part is when i want to put it back in i have to align it with the bottom that's no big deal, but the thing is, I have to turn the key in order to be able to slide it. And if it's not perfectly aligned, it's a pain in the neck. <clears throat> Which is the case now, of course. So this illustrates the difficulties I've been having. Ah, here it is. Okay, now it's aligned. I lock it back in. Remove the key. And then... You put the cover on. Okay. Try to put the cover on as quickly as possible. Press the bottom and then the top. So it takes a few extra steps and getting used to using the key to unlock the cradle before you uh, put the battery back in. So usually what I do with this bike is that I uh, load it uh, using the built-in port rather than taking it upstairs to uh, my office or to my room and here's the port it's a very nice cover and also it's also possible to do that on the 2016 uh, track with the power pack 500 and you just have to find the port here there you go and you could connect it directly to the bike and charge it in your garage instead of taking it up to your room. And voila, I hope this clears some doubts that some people might have of the differences between the two systems. One, of course, uh, uses the space that would be available for a water can, water bottle, and with the power tube, it's very well um, inserted in the frame and it frees up the space for a water bottle. Of course, the uh, Cube has a 625 watt hour battery, which you could not possibly uh, put in the available space on the uh, track, which only has a 500 watt hour battery. All right, cheers.